If I live to 80 and I'm almost 60, I got 20 more of these and that's it. That's all. If you're used to watching the show The Last Alaskans, you probably know Haimo. He lives in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, which is highly isolated and has extreme weather conditions. His wife Edna and their children also made appearances on the show. But what else do you know about him? What's he doing these days? What dangers and challenges did he face throughout his life? Stay until the end of this video to know the answers to these questions. It's hard to believe that this man, who's a natural when it comes to living in isolated areas amongst the snow, grew up in Appleton, Wisconsin. His family was not really into nature and exploration, but Jaime, on the other hand, was always intrigued by it. He always knew that life in a small town was not meant for him, so he set out into the world looking for adventure. Soon, he ended up in the northwestern regions of Canada, where he worked as a hunter guide's assistant. Initially, he had trouble adjusting to the weather conditions, but soon he learned to survive it. Along the way, he also met his wife, Edna, a native of the area. She stuck with him and taught him how to be self-sufficient in such places. Eventually, they moved to the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, ANWR, and started a family. Everything seemed to be going smoothly until a tragedy struck the couple. Their first daughter, Colleen Ann, died when she was just two years old. She got carried away in a river. This deeply affected both Haimo and Edna, but they did not lose hope. A few years later, they also lost their friend Bob Hart. Although losing family and friends is always heartbreaking, Haimo understood the risks of living in the wild. They continued living in the ANWR. They continued to become well-versed in skills like hunting and trapping to survive in the cold. Then his cousin James Campbell wrote a book called The Final Frontiersman, which focused on Haimo's knowledge about the area and the unique lifestyle he created, especially for surviving there. This book played an important role, giving Haimo and his family instant recognition. Everyone was curious and wanted to know more about him and his lifestyle. This is most likely why he was approached for the show The Last Alaskan. Whether hunting, trapping or building cabins, Haimo always showed reality. He shared his knowledge about these things and discussed the kind of skills that one needs to live here. On the show, the family was seen working together. This brought an extra layer to the show. Moreover, his experience allowed him to share stories about his earlier days in the wild. The viewers loved this aspect as it added character to the show and showed how Haimo progressed. But some viewers were against him and the show. Animal rights activists and environmentalists have always expressed their concerns regarding hunting. But Haimo also had strong opinions regarding these issues. He did not shy away from sharing his views against a few policies regarding animal rights. While Haimo and his family have permission to live in the ANWR for the rest of their lives, their grandchildren do not have the right to do so. Haimo and his wife inhabited the area before it became a wildlife refuge, so they have special permission to live there, but it does not extend to their grandchildren. The show ended in 2018. There were some speculations that Haimo and his family had moved out of the ANWR, but they did not. They are continuing to live there. They do not leave their traditions behind either. They plan to live there for the rest of their lives. That's all for today's video. If you like it, remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you'll get all the updates from us and we see you in the next one.